know what I'm saying? Holy shit. GT Synergy for Magranet Power. Yeah, it doesn't really have a pomegranate color. Well, the label does. But the, well, let's get right into it. You'll see the, the liquid itself. Not a lot of hiss. Not a lot of fist. I'm talking fist. I'm talking lips. I'm talking ribs. Pomegranate power from the Synergy line. Let's give it a little rundown. 60 cal, I feel like that's the standard. 5% juice, 16 grams of sugar. <laughs> if you feel me. Ingredients, kombucha, black tea, green tea, kiwi juice, pomegranate juice, sage, organically produced, pure love. I recently saw a photo of GT Dave. He looks good. Looks healthy. Whoa. Did not expect that. Kind of a mild color, kind of tea color. Expected a little bit of a mild flavor. Um, also, not a lot of like hiss and carbonation. Well, a little bit. Maybe you hear that. Man, it's tangy. It's really good. I get a little pomegranate at the end there. Damn, I got a vacuum in that corner. This is great. Man, I didn't expect a lot out of this one. I thought this was going to be kind of a throwaway review. This is really good. I'm coming to realize that maybe the Synergy line is for me. This is absolutely delicious and refreshing. It's got enough bite for those in seeking bite. A lot of flavor, not overly sweet, a bit tart. Definitely blasts the mouth a little bit, but a good amount. I'm enjoying this thoroughly. Fulst. Wow. This is way better than I expected. I don't know why I expected this to be kind of bland. You know, a bit of a throwaway. Maybe because on the shelf, it's kind of always sitting there. I guess people aren't grabbing this one as much for whatever reason. They fucked up. This is a secret, a secret fun little blast. I find it to be a little tangier than my spring bloom favorite, which I actually think they're starting to cycle off the shelves. I haven't seen it as much in the bodegas around here. Maybe it's getting cycled out, which would make sense because the summer is cycling in and that flavor is really good. And I think that one's selling a lot because I, that one, there's usually one or two in all the places I go, the summer flavor. I also see um, original goes a lot, I think, Tantric turmeric is a favorite, and I would think that the the blue one is pretty popular. Now, this is very good. I can't really find man. It's really hard. I, I'm I'm always come with GTs now. I've had so many that are good. I'm always kind of coming in from a little bit of a cynical angle because I'm trying to find where they fall down. I mean, these are just straight up enjoyable, refreshing drinks that <clears throat> they have that, you know, probiotic kind of health angle, but also they have flavor. I don't know what any of this means, but it's like 1 billion organisms, 4 billion organisms. I don't know what this stuff is supposed to do. I should probably look into it one day because I don't really, oh, well, kombucha. Once known as a tea of immortality, kombucha is a fermented drink with origins dating back to 221 BC. Anytime someone says something like that, well, I won't get all skeptical right now. This ancient elixir is traditionally crafted with a sweetened tea base, okay, and a live kombucha culture, SCOBY. I've heard that before. 
During fermentation, the SCOBY transforms the tea into bright, tangy, and natural effervescent beverage with billions of living probiotics to support digestive and immune health. Well, hey, I don't know. Maybe this is promoting my digestive and immune health. I haven't really noticed any difference in my eliminations. I've been drinking a lot of these, probably one a day, different flavors and varieties. <clears throat> I don't really know if it's affected my peristalsis. Maybe it has. I'm pretty regular. You know, well, I won't get into all that, but it makes me feel good. It's a good drink. I drink a lot of water, a lot of boring shit, the occasional beer or wine. I don't mix it up a lot. I'm not really a soda person, not really a juice person. Have milk with my cereal, coffee I like. But I drink coffee about equally for the taste as I do for the drug, the, ca the caffeine side of it. So it's this I'm not necessarily looking as, at, as a health drink. Maybe it would be a different experience if I did. I'm sure there's lots of drinks out there that are super healthy and maybe won't taste the best, but people enjoy them because it's kind of that dual you know, coming at it from a couple angles, like the way I feel about coffee. It's interesting, this journey through kombucha tasting started with literally no interest in kombucha at all, outside of the fact that I hadn't had it. I never even really considered it. A couple of my friends talked about it, so I started drinking these things, and I just realized that around here, where I live, it's on, you know, from the smallest bodega to like the bigger, uh, supermarkets, they all have really wide varieties of kombucha. I mean, there's some sodas. There's like, um, kind of like these health sodas or like, you know, hipster sodas and stuff like that they'll have as well. And there's an Asian market that has a lot of Asian products. I think a lot of them are very sugary and, you know, uh, types of stuff and sodas and stuff. I don't really go for the soda. The thing is, if I drink a ton of sodas and review those, that would be all well and good, but I would just sit here and get fat. And these don't have as much sugar. So as far as what's readily available, this is just something I hadn't really ever dived into, dove into. So it's been enjoyable, but suffice it to say, I still know very little about kombucha. I still don't feel a personal like health you know, kind of connection with the drink. I, I, I'm not into it that way. Like, whenever I stop making these videos, I might never drink one of these again. But they are very good, and they're very enjoyable. I've enjoyed this very much. I think my goal at this point, as I said before, is to get through all the GTs that's available for me, and then get ready for the fall flavor. There's some new kombucha I saw down the street. I'm gonna get into those for sure. So I'm thinking like in the next month, I might be, maybe in two months, I'll be able to, I'll say one and a half to two months, I'll be able to probably get through just about every commercially available kombucha in my area. I've went through, I wonder, I don't even know how many I've done so far, but it's been a lot, um, pro probably, as far as how many I've drank, I don't know how many I, I've reviewed. I probably reviewed, I would guess, you know, 40. But I probably tried closer to 60. Didn't review every single one. A couple times I forgot. A couple times I just didn't feel like making the video and I wanted to have one. Usually I try to have a flavor that I've already reviewed in case I feel like having kombucha and not, not having to sit down and make a video. but. There's definitely been, you know, a couple, you know, a dozen or so that have slipped through the cracks because I just felt like having a fucking drink. But bringing it back around, pomegranate power, definitely a surprise here. I enjoyed this very much. I will be purchasing this as a, uh, a personal enjoyment beverage. Uh, to keep me uh, interested in kombucha between reviews. This is great. Hey Dave, 